farewelling an important part of military history. The colours of the New Zealand Scottish Regiment, which began in Dunedin, have been formally laid to rest at a public ceremony. The event marks the disbandment of the last components of the regiment, which formed in 1939. During that time, uh, thousands of New Zealand citizens uh, served in that unit and served um, under those colours. And the colours represent the spirit of the unit. Um, and so by laying up the colours is the final part of uh, saying goodbye to this unit. Um, and so we, uh, we need to honour all of those Kiwis who had served in the unit. A large scale parade months in the planning helped bring the uniquely coloured flags through the CBD to their final resting place at Toitu Otago Settlers Museum. The city was described by Mayor Dave Cull as the most fitting place for the regiment's final farewell, and those in the Defence Force agree. I guess Dunedin being the home of uh, Scottish traditions in New Zealand, appropriate that A, the Scottish regiment was sort of based here, and then B, that the, uh, the uh, colours are now laid up here and will be available for the uh, citizens of Dunedin to view in the future. A large crowd gathered to view the march through central streets, acknowledging the service of fellow citizens. Lieutenant Colonel Gibbons says regardless of people's personal views on the Defence Force, it's vital they recognise this end of an era. I think it's important just to acknowledge that, that people do choose to serve. Uh, no one in New Zealand is forced to do so. Um, and so, you know, all these, these thousands of people who had served in the unit um, volunteered to do so. So I think it is a, um, it's appropriate for definitely us to do so. And, and I think from what we saw on the streets today, the, uh, the fantastic reception that we got, um, and so that was great. And the colours are now permanently housed at Toitu and will be brought out for Anzac Day each year. Their storage ensures they're well preserved for future generations to view and learn about a significant slice of local history. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.